hey guys welcome back so in this video we are now looking at how to reverse engineer google bart into a command line and this is something uh, we are trying because google bart is not public for non gcp users so if you have to use non gcp google bart this is one of the ways of doing it and what i would be doing here is uh, the first thing we need to do is install this package and this package is called google bart here so let me go to my terminal and say install this okay i've already installed this package and the next thing i need to do is if i do help here so uh, the first thing it's asking us to do is get the session and uh, sid here and if i go back to this page how to get this value so go to your google bart type f12 and go to application cookies and secure pid so i i am in my google bart terminal i did press f12 and i went to application and this is the cookies in cookies i went to google bart and this is what the id it's asking us to fetch here so this is the id it's asking us to fetch here so once i do that i'll go back to my terminal here and i would just copy paste that value so we have now entered a google bart shell so let me ask it a question can you write a song on ai so if i do that and what should we do to uh, set enter here for this so it's already listed in the command here so escape enter would work for us here so if i just do escape enter so yeah google bart is now responding back to us okay so let me ask it can you write a review on the movie let me call it uh, uh what suggest any movie right so let's call game of thrones and let me take the movie out so can you write a review on game of thrones and i would just do escape enter so let's see what it does cool so the idea here is if you want to use this within a terminal or a streamlit application or any other use case you want to do you this is an unofficial way of doing it at the moment but just remember your session id you need to have access to your session id for this to work and uh, so even if you build an application it would be using your session id so that's one thing i wanted to demo this we'll also look at how to use official google bart api this was the unofficial way of doing it mostly for non enterprise users and uh, that's all i wanted to cover here i hope you liked it thank you for joining i would attach the github link in the video so you can get started with this uh, thank you.